here we will discuss how nuclear energy is released. The following things happen in a deuterium tritium fusion reaction. It produces a neutron and a helium nucleus, a mass defect and release of energy. Here most of the energy appears as the kinetic energies of the neutron and the helium nucleus. Now the question is, where does this energy come from? Einstein's special theory of relativity suggests that a mass defect is converted into energy and the amount of this energy can be calculated with the mass energy equivalence equation E equals mc squared. However, I have a different thought about how a mass defect releases energy. I think about the possibility that the missing matter may be detonated and becomes a thin form of matter called space matter. When a bond making happens between two nuclear particles, they overlap each other and this overlapped volume of mass is released as the mass defect and detonated. Since this detonation occurs in the region where the particles are bonded, the products in the reaction act as projectiles with great amounts of kinetic energies and when they collide on the surrounding matter results in the generation of a great amount of heat energy. Here the detonation is so huge that a gram of mass defect can be converted into a cubic kilometer volume of space matter in a millionth of a second. When a uranium-235 nucleus is split, it creates a barium-144 nucleus, a krypton-89 nucleus and three free neutrons. In this reaction, the rearrangement of the particles that occur immediately after the splitting in the daughter nuclei results in the creation of fresh bonds between the particles and mass defect from both nuclei. Here the detonation of the missing matter provides a great amount of kinetic energies to the products in the reaction and when they collide on surrounding matter results in the generation of a great amount of heat energy as mentioned above. A chemical explosion occurs because of the change in the state of matter. When an explosive is ignited, it will be converted into a superheated gas in a fraction of a second and explode. Therefore, I think that, just like a chemical explosion, a nuclear explosion also occurs because of the change in the state of matter.